Hello everyone, this is Urban Rabbit Homestead here. I just want to walk through my, my garden real quick. I've got a lot going on and I just wanted to share with you a little bit. Um, this is one of my dinosaur kale plants. You can see it's growing in a fabric pot. Um, it's doing a great job. Now I will tell you, caterpillars got me good this year. Um, I've been using BT um, to, to stop it, but you can see that I uh, we've had so much rain that it's hard to keep the BT on there and so it's just me against the caterpillar so they got me on this one but I've got some plants that look pretty decent um, I grow a lot of marigolds too to keep the mosquitoes down uh, you guys have seen my video on collecting the rainwater so um, you know of course I, that's what I use to water all my plants got some green beans back under here you can see the green bean there um, uh, these are my wicking tubs I just shared with you my video on it you know again this is proof in the pudding uh, I've harvested all of this uh, it's tons of kale um, great great harvest this year um, from the kale and this is actually uh, again the wicking tub success this is a wicking tub that I made out of um, a tidy cats um, litter bucket it works great you know I love when they toss them away at the dump um, I pick them up and bring them home uh, on this one, I would use soda cans, just drill holes in the soda cans, and put those in the bottom, and then fill it up. No fiber, no no fabric, and it works great. Um, this one has just got a new. Actually, I actually broke my tomato plant by accident because, as you can see, they're they're all in a walkway here, and you can see how they vine out. These Matt's tomatoes are excellent, by the way. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful tomatoes. Um, yeah. Anyway. And tons of them too like we literally have i kid you not we've picked thousands of tomatoes and i'm not kidding but they're great um so uh, just again that's one way it works uh, I, I planted this tomato plant and it just came up um no problem i've got a fabric pot here um and a milk crate that's another great way to do it i like the milk crate setup because it brings up the level of the plant where you don't have to bend over as low and so double up the milk crates those work this is another wicking tub here um this one has a pipe but again you know what i don't use the pipes to fill pipes um maybe it's because i don't have the landscape fabric down there i just water it the water seeps down and i know it's full when it overflows out of the overflow hole just a lot of a lot of good vegetables some plants look healthier than others um this is where i learned that lesson about drilling the hole lower this is one of my tomato plants and you can see it's just not as healthy and I think, again, I just keep checking the saturation level and it's super moist in there all the time. Um, and I have some that have the lower hole because I just have plenty of pots. I did some experimenting and I found the ones with the holes a little lower worked really well. Um, this is just a tomato plant, Matt's tomato plant in my crate. Again, drainage, right? The plant is very healthy. Um, granted, I've got to water that one a lot more frequently, but... Um, it just speaks to the fact that drainage is key for some plants in the wicking tub hole level may need to be varied based on what you're trying to grow um, i've got some blueberry bushes i've got some um, green peppers i can share with you um, it's just a, a great great setup here i can walk through um, hey this tape does a good job keeping birds away but that's just a little sidebar um, let me walk through. This is that wicking tub I just built on my other video. And this is my other setup on my uh, my kale. Um, one of my, this is my first raised bed garden. A lot of marigolds, as, as I explained. This is that worm. That is a caterpillar that has caused me so much pain this year. And the, he loves, I mean, I know the BT kills him. But doggone it, you better be spraying it because he will go through a leaf quick. So, again, um, I'm going to take him and smush him just like that. I'm going to leave him there for all of his friends to see. Because Stay away from my plants, please. I know that God created all the creatures for a reason, but I wish they wouldn't all appear here on my plants. On my plants. So in any case, I'm going to pick this one right here for some, for some reason. That one needs to be picked. It had a broken stem. 
snails too and slugs but hey I'm, I'm organic in case i didn't mention that and i know i didn't i apologize but yeah i don't spray any pesticides or dust only bt and neem oil um, that's why i do have some holes in my plants uh, but i think that's okay as long as i get my share and i've definitely done that um matt's tomatoes growing got some kale hey i'm a big fan of this kale it's called a uh this is i shouldn't be sharing it okay i'll tell you guys listen if i'm sharing this please subscribe because this is this is sick just a secret stuff here premier kale that's all i'm gonna say to you premier kale it's a flatter leaf very mild tasting super hearty um prolific i love it i started off with dinosaur kale i don't like the curly kale just because in my opinion it's just um we like the flatter leaves um i just have a preference and i just don't grow the the the, the curly uh, I've, I've had it before it tastes great just prefer the flatter leaves for me with the caterpillars when i spray my bt it seems like i can cover the leaves a lot better and have a fighting chance against them and it's the caterpillars that really drive me toward growing the flatter leaf um kales i'm going to try a brazilian kale but that's uh, a little bit this is swiss chard um we've got some comfrey going love the comfrey uh bone mending plants what they call it do not eat it or drink it um but it is great for um, um at your your compost uh, you know you guys know i compost it adds nutrients to compost it has a very deep tap root it has a lot of nutrients that it brings up through the leaves. It also has a lot of medicinal purposes. I will leave that to you to research because I'm no expert and don't want anyone getting sick. I do know that it's not good to eat. It can cause liver toxicity if you eat it. Um, so we've got um, a lot of weeds here. These are weeds. Sorry about that, but it's just a fact. Um, we've got our green beans. This was a green bean patch. I actually transplanted um, my kale plants back there from here so I can redo this one this fall get some some kale going um look at my matched tomatoes like let me just turn it sideways okay that's not gonna help okay look at my matched tomatoes okay you can see how it's in the lawn all right this is my hawk here it's supposed to keep the critters away and it does not let me this is my lawn i'm in my lawn and this is my matched tomato plant okay so uh we got some kale here Again, the holes are because of the caterpillar, and I don't like it. In fact, I might spray again today. I just sprayed yesterday. It works. It's just I've been, had so much rain. This is my blueberry uh, plant. You guys, you know, again, we talked about this, about if it works. Uh, blueberries love drainage, and you can see here I've got the drainage. I've got my holes lower on my uh, tub, and um, this is working well. So we're just going to keep running with it. Tons of peppers. You guys, I mean, peppers everywhere. Look at look at this. I've got like tons of peppers from the wicking tub. Same design, same setup. Um, the holes are a little lower. They do a great job. Okay. We've got some more blueberry bushes. That's this here. Blueberry bush here. And some kale. All right. And a lot of marigolds. The marigolds, I think they do keep the mosquitoes away. Um, I really do. So check out those peppers. They look great, don't they? I'm sorry. I love peppers. So anyway, just sharing with you um, what I'm doing here on the homestead. The key to all of this. Oh, look at those tomatoes. i got to get those. Um, the key to all this, okay, is your rabbit manure. Okay? You have got... To take that rabbit manure and put it in your garden. It makes all the difference in the world. I mean, this crazy, I mean, I, this night and day. And what I've done is I've actually built the soil up. Some of this soil, unfortunately, wasn't, I just didn't know any better. I got, when they um, built the house, they had a lot of extra dirt around, construction dirt. And I said, well, I'll keep it. And I used that. And it wasn't not good dirt at all. At all. But what's happened is over time, I keep putting the, um, the the rabbit manure in there and it builds the soil up and here we are so stuff grows like crazy um so i recommend it all right uh urban rabbit homestead here signing off uh thank you for viewing please like and subscribe and uh have a great day